I think that we, from the very beginning, we weren't interested in just like growing food and that being it. We wanted to grow food for people. I don't think we would be doing it if there wasn't the like community aspect and the like working with people and like knowing your customers. We worked on community gardens in Milledgeville when we were both in school. We had been traveling up and down the East Coast trying to figure out where we wanted to settle. And a part of our hearts was still in middle Georgia, still in Milledgeville. And we just never found anywhere that felt the way that Milledgeville felt to us. And we just kind of always had that like tug to come back. When we had been apprenticing on farms up and down the East Coast, we had worked at a lot of different farmers markets and had experience at different farmers markets. And when we came back, we saw the potential for a really great local producer-only farmers market. I think the beautiful thing about farmers markets is that it, it brings people together over food. We had this kind of platform in town to get people together, to have people communing, to have people talking to each other and meeting up. and. Um, and also, you know, getting to know their farmers and having access to healthy food. Organic food can be expensive and it can be cost prohibitive. And so I wanted everyone in Milledgeville to be able to have access to good, healthy food that's grown by farmers in and around Milledgeville. And so um, we partnered with Wholesome Wave Georgia to accept SNAP and EBT and to double SNAP and EBT dollars to make sure that if somebody wants to buy local producer-only produce, organic produce, that they, can, they have the ability to do that. And I think also just like the liberal arts mission of Georgia College, inherent in that is that you are an actor in your community and that it's applied philosophy, applied sociology, applied English literature. It's like you're an actor in the world and you're empowered to make it a better, more equitable society. You know, I was a liberal studies major, so my major was all about pulling from different places that you needed. And that does fit in with farming a lot because you have to be your own plumber, your own carpenter, your own irrigation expert, your own botanist, you know, so you're pulling a lot of different things. But I think too that we were prepared by Georgia College for that learning curve in that we knew how to find information. So we are moving back to Rome, Georgia, um, in Northwest Georgia, which is my hometown where I grew up. Over the next couple of years, we'll be partnering with a nonprofit um, called South Rome Redevelopment Corporation that does community development in a low-income neighborhood. And we'll be partnering with them to start kind of an urban farm, local food access, kind of food hub. The quote comes from a poem, and the, the poem is it's about 30 lines long, um, and it just talks about living simply but richly. And we tried to do all the different combinations of the different words. Babe and Sage just seemed to be the one that the one that fit the best. Together. Yeah. <laughs>